Welcome to another Plan 6 Parts video. Today's video, Spitfire seat cover removal. Glad I said that right. So this is a, a seat cover for a 71 Spitfire, the one I'm working on at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna change this out for new black covers. So, um, head view and head to remove it. Now, if any of you have ever done this before, you realize these things leave the biggest mess. The seat foam has been in this for nearly 50 years. Um, it, even though it looks like it's in one piece, I can guarantee you, as soon as you go to take it apart, it will absolutely sandbag on, on the floor. And, so if you're doing this, do not do it on carpet. Either do it on a, a concrete floor, polished core, or put something plastic down because it is going to leave an absolute mess. Okay, but let's get started. So um, what you want to do is remove this handle. Uh, this handle can be its own problem. Um, you just see I started already. This handle took me a good 20 minutes to get off. Um, I'm hoping this is not going to be the case this time because the video doesn't want to be that long. Um, hopefully it comes off. Hopefully. Uh, just try pry it. The problem with these is because it's a steel seat. I'm like an aluminium thing. If it doesn't come off, I refer back to my wife found earlier on, be better is if you come from the back here, you actually have underneath, you can actually get under it. It's the best leverage to it. And give it a tap with a hammer. It's not the way I want to do that. So. Off. The only about this is it goes through the uh, seat cover. If you're not keeping the seat cover, it doesn't make much of a difference, but I'm going to get this off. Because I battled with it trying to save the seat cover the last time, and I just gave up. Because it's terrible, like I said, this is a steel seat. This is aluminium, so like it's corroded onto it. So like I said, it's not it's not what I wanted to do, but unfortunately it has to, has to come off somehow. So there's a little tab down here. Uh the seat covers I'm not keeping, so just remember to keep these the tabs here if they won't come off. Like the TR6, you just pull it and it pops it. In this case, it's a monte. There we go. There's one. The far side. And as you can see, look, it's already... Uh, <laughs> that's bad. There's two. So once we have these loops, we're going to work on the bottom down here. Um, this is what I was saying about having the point you want to have. Because if you're trying to keep your seat covers, and of course, if the, the handle comes off pretty easy, um, you can save these. Um, it's always best to keep these things as well. So the reason why I like this one is that it gives me just enough room to fit on the bottom half of it. And then that way I'm not... See? That way I'm not digging in and tapping them down. But otherwise you just tap down from the top to take them off. And keep them separate and keep them well away because as soon as the seat gas starts coming apart, it's gonna leave foam everywhere. Right. Um, 
pins off. So we should be able to start peeling this out from under. So just wait to watch out for is there's the little clips on the next one are everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. So what we want to do is we want to be able to snip them off. So this one should come down there. Oh, there you go. So that's up. Get something around. You can unscrew this if you if you want to, you don't have to. The uh, the locking. Okay. So the next part that we want to do is we want to grab these. That's what I was about to say, just you need about the point was to watch out if you miss you and we stab yourself and I literally was just after doing it. So we can use the uh we can use a different one here. This one looks like it's off a window. It is. <laughs> I'm going to use the, it's opened up, but it looks like a clip for the, uh, the holds your inner uh, window seal in. Felt. All right. Uh, okay, so they're off. And squash it. And then the last ones is the cloth, because that's held up through here, because it comes through. It's similar to the tier six. It uh, slips through. Oh God, this thing is brutal. Okay, so now it's up in the way, up in the way. Now, here's the uh, here's the worst part. Is taking it off. So remember, all your clips and everything. Move them all out of the way first. So this is going to be like ripping up my sandbag. All we want to do is grab up the top and just shove it. So it comes out. Oh yeah. Look at that mess. God. Uh, these straps are, I think, seen their days at this stage. It's the little clips you want to keep, just remember them because they'll go on to the next one. Because uh, sometimes, uh, depending on who you order them from, your uh, vendor, you may not come with them. Okay, so if you're willing to leave the mess here to add to it, uh, the next part we're going to do is remove the bottom part. So, in order to do that, the easiest way is um, let me show you. Is we're going to do these. These fold forward. So we push these down. And that releases the front end. Up the back here then, as you can see, there's clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a screwdriver in and push it down and pop it out. And then after that, it's free to, to take off. The cover itself is separate to it. So... And the only thing you'd watch out for is just where the uh, the board is stuck down the bottom. Just let it release. So just make sure the board's on the right side. The bottom. So that's it. Just make sure the board is, like I said, pushed through. So just slip it in, and there it goes. And that comes out with one unit. Before I step next one, I'll give you a quick sweep. And I'll show you how to remove the bottom section. This is actually not bad, the other one was actually worse. Alright, so now we're going to remove the foam, the seat cover from the bottom. It's literally a metal cage, so this is where your snips come in because you have these little. Uh, 
clips that are all the way around here. You can spend the time and pull them off. Me, easiest way to do, snip it with a snips, and then you'll, uh, you only need to take half of it. So there is a lot of them in here. So bear with me while I do all this. You can pull the clips and try to pull the hole up, but once you snip it in half, it makes it a lot easier to come off. It's always best to work from front to back, just because the way it's crouched in here or uh, set in there. Yeah. go along pull it out because you have to find them some of them are uh, especially this new tan I can, I can imagine black is the same where it's hard to see them let me show you this zoom in a bit where it'd be hard to hard to see So it depends how many people, how many videos to put on. Um, but this is the easiest way to take it off. It will come off in one piece, so the foam and the bottom fiber board will come off as one. Bear with me, like I said, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of these. Again, this would be a great editing part to say, join me in five minutes when I have them all off. Buried in there. Oh, there we go. All right. So we're pretty much all the, way, all the way to that side. Now the last few to go here, and then these at the back. But like I said it, it just it folds off in the front and peels off. So. That you can try pull these off, but we'll see. You're, uh, you'll just get frustrated, and you'll just end up stabbing yourself. God knows how many times with a screwdriver or something. Trust me, I've done it. <laughs> I can hear them flipping off the walls. Shooting off here. Here. Alright, so it's nearly off. Just the last few in the front. Let me zoom out a little bit.
Ну, что он... So I said, let's go from the back of the seat and let's pop it out. Off it comes. Then you're left with your cage. So you have the cage here and then you have your stand over here. And that's it. So after that then, you're good to clean them, wear them down. I already done the first one over there, I gave them a quick wear down, a little bit of paint so it's not rust, so I'm gonna put them back together. And that's it. So uh, yeah, lucky enough the mess wasn't too bad. The first one left an almighty pile, um, so that's what I said. Always do it on a, uh, always do it on a nice uh, clean surface. So that's it, and uh, thanks for watching. And join me now in part two and three, where I will, after cleaning them up, I will start putting them back together in black. So um, again, thanks very much. And any comments, questions, concerns, give me a shout, and I'll help you as best I can. Thank you.